I just realized I forgot to record the the the, the webinar. Um, so that being said, let's run let's run a quote. So I'm going to run a quote here for myself. Uh, so you know you can see the the design is 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 brand new. It's going to be mobile optimized. So it'll be what'll be really nice about it is you won't need multiple products for mobile. Uh, obviously, our our mobile app takes it to a whole new level, and highly recommend that. But uh, our um, our actual uh, engine here works really well on any device, and so uh, you can go go in and run it, and you can see everything is really easy to get to. Here, if we click tobacco, it takes out the the plus products because those don't apply to to tobacco users. Um, one of the new features here we've got is. Uh, we had requested a lot is we now have an age versus date of birth option. Before we just had date of birth and a lot of people wanted age. And so you go in here and you put in your age and it automatically pops up this little button, makes it really nice, really quick and uh, really easy to move through it. And that's one of the things that we really wanted to focus on here is making it really easy and really quick. I mean, agents run hundreds of quotes a day and for them to have to slow down because a uh, it, it takes a while for it to load or they have to click a whole bunch of times, it's it's really painful for them. So we wanted to make it very easy and quick to get through this. Um, so 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 that's that was one of the goals, and we hope that that we've accomplished that. Um, next section here is the underwriting section. Um, we've got uh, what's cool about this is you can actually compare uh, a fully underwritten or not a full under, underwritten, but you can actually compare like a preferred and a preferred plus to like a table B or a standard. And you can have both of them show up in your quote results uh, side by side. So um, whereas, you know, normally this would over completely override this, you can have them shown side by side. So if you want to show both in, in your quote results when you create that PDF for your client, uh, you can show that here. Um, and table ratings is a big thing that that took a while for us to add. Uh, we 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 looked at all the carrier data and and for all the carriers that we have on board, uh, we we try to get the the rating information for that those carriers so you can go in and and run you know rated cases. <clears throat> uh, moving on to the product information section here, uh, we've got our our monthly mode. Uh, you this this is this was always there. You can either select monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. Um, you can type in your quote result or your uh, face amount, I'm sorry. Uh, this filter option's actually changed. Uh, this is kind of a demo quoter we have here. And this, this filter, uh, the idea behind it was you could do a fully underwritten or a simplified issue product. But instead of that, we just added simplified issue down here so you can do side-by-side -side comparisons. So if you want to compare a simplified issue to a fully underwritten, you could select a 20-year term up here and a 20-year term down here and both of them will show up in the quote results. So pretty sweet. Um, we've got our child riders. So you can add your child insurance riders, your accidental death benefit, and waiver of premium. Uh, some of those items were, were not there before. Uh, we've had you know accidental death benefit, waiver of premium, child riders for about the last six months or eight months or something. Uh, but not, not all of our clients really know it, uh, know that we have them um, on board. And so let's compare just like a 20, 25, 30 year term. Um, and um, let's run that quote. So here we go. Now, now obviously we don't have every carrier on this board, on this, this platform right now. I just, it's a demo quarter. So I've got three carriers here. Normally you'd be able to show all your carriers. Um, and like I said, you can go to our website and see the list of carriers. We've got 100 plus different carriers that you can, you have the option of showing. You can see it's really nice, really clean design. We've got our quote results here. You've got the tabs up top um, where you can see the comparisons. And then uh, you can, so a new feature that you can now, now do is you can sort. So if you want to sort before, you used to only be able to sort by premium. And it was always uh, uh, least expensive to most expensive. And now you can sort by premium, you can sort by company name, ascending or descending. Uh, really nice sort features that make it easy for you to, to sort your products there. Uh, over here on the right side, you have the option, you can, uh, you can check a box here. And if you wanna download those quotes uh, to do a comparison, you can do that. And I'll show you that in a second. 
Uh, this is a whole new feature is texting. Uh, oh, I got to select a carrier. Uh, but if you want to text a court result to your client, uh, you can go in here, put in the phone number of the person you're texting, put in a short, short message, and it'll actually text the quote results to your client right from here. This is a pretty cool feature. Uh, you know, nowadays people are so much on their phones and um, and uh, and using their phones all over the place, and that's that's the main way people communicate. So why not be able to text your quote result to them and have it right at their fingertips? Uh, you can also email the quote results right from here. This was there before, but this is uh, uh, still in there. And uh, and one thing you'll notice here is check out how cool these little uh, modals are. Uh, the old system. It used to be in what's called an iframe, and I'll show you the code difference here once we get towards the end of the conversation. But these modals are, we've made these a lot better because of the way the iframe works. It's actually not an iframe, it's what's called a script code or a piece of script, or I don't know what developers call it, but I'm not a developer, so uh, they just told me what it's called. And, uh, and, and that makes it really integrate with your website versus just iframing it into your website. Uh, what it does is it feels like they're on your website. And, and I'll show you a, a sample of one that's actually plugged into a website uh, here as well. But you can see how nice these little modals are that pop down. It's super nice, super crisp, and, and really, really cool. Um, so the, my, the part that I'm most excited about is this here. So you get the, um, let's see. Well, thanks for the question. Uh, at the end, we'll, we'll come back to some of these questions questions and we can also do a consultation with one of our agents. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, a question just came in on the chat. Uh, so for Transamerica here, when you click on Transamerica, what's really cool is, you know, a lot of the quoters out there, uh, they'll, if you want to download the forums or if you want to see the marketing material or something like that, you have to like click out to a new link or a new tab or something like that. And there's, and then you have to find your way back. And uh, our old one did that actually. Um, and what we wanted to do, we wanted to make a more integrated experience. So when someone's on the quarter, they can come in here, they can click on Transamerica. Okay, this is the carrier that I want to work with. Uh, from, right from here, they can email the quote, they can create a PDF, they can download the standard packet, which I'll talk about in a second. They can send it as a text. Um, those are just a few of the options. If I click on Voya here, I've got some new options as well. Voya has their uh, their carrier e-ticket. So with our e-ticket platform that some of you might be familiar with, I'm not going to go over it in this webinar. Maybe we'll do it next month. Uh, we're, we're happy to go over it individually with you guys. But our e-ticket platform allows you to basically link or to um, to map carriers into the system. You can customize how you map that. We also work with other vendors. We're working on some integrations with some, some third-party vendors who do e-tickets. We're working on some direct tickets with carriers. And then we have our e-ticket platform as well, which allows you to build your own uh, e-tickets, essentially, that come to your office. And so I'm happy to go over that with anybody. And, uh, or you know, one of our reps can definitely go over that with you guys if you're interested in learning more about that. Uh, pretty sweet little feature, though. Um, but let's go, oops, send this text. We're not doing that. Let's go back to Transamerica here. Uh, so there's a couple different things. There's some new things here. The, so before we had forms, but they were in a different system. So I love this. I'm really excited about this uh, this preview feature. And obviously this is, you know, for those of you who know insurance, which is probably everybody on this call, this is a mutual of Omaha form. Like I said, this is a demo quarter. Um, but uh, you can go in here and you can grab all the forms you want. And it's, it tells you down here what's required and what's not. So these are always required forms. And if you just want to download a standard packet, you can just click there and it'll just download the required forms right away or open it in a preview and then you can download them. But it's really cool. It's got a little preview. Uh, we're also adding the functionality to have like a list here as well for quicker viewing because this one you have to kind of scroll down, grab the forms that you want. Um, you can see here's like non-required forms and. And so you can really kind of just grab the ones you want. They're big preview images. You click, and uh, then once you've got the ones you want, you're ready to download. Click download, it pops open. Uh, pretty pretty sweet. Um, if you want to create a PDF with, with your carriers, uh, like I was saying before, you click the ones that you want here, and then you click download, and it it downloads a PDF. Now, this is one thing I'm also excited about. We had a lot of requests to upgrade the design of these PDFs. Um, this is this has got a logo on it, and so this will be an option where you can actually have your 
your logo on the PDF if you want. Um, there will be, there's other designs as well. So you'll be able to actually choose from different designs of how you want that PDF to look, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, so it looks like someone from our staff just said, there's an option to send selected quotes or all quotes um, across the multiple tabs. So yeah, you can actually uh, just select the, the quote that you want here and, and send those, or you can, um, you'll actually be able to send all the quotes if, if you wanna do that as well. Um, if that makes sense. Um, so going down here, this is this is obviously a piece that was there before we had the forms engine. We've just got more carriers on board, but it's it's got a major upgrade. Really cool look. Uh, I, I I love this. I'm a very visual person, so I, I love seeing this. Um, so another piece here that we have is marketing materials. So from the carriers, we've got gathered all their agent marketing material and their uh, their consumer marketing material. So you'll be able to, your agents will be able to go in here and grab the marketing material that they need, the agent approved ones and the consumer approved ones. Um, and then, uh, so that's a new feature. Um, and then you can also go here and uh, see the availability uh, in a state. And, or, or across the United States. Uh, we're only in the United States, so that's the only place that you'll see that. But plus, uh, you know, we've got some of the uh, the colonies here. Uh, those are those just show up in the list. Um, if you need, you know, to see some of the, uh, like the, you know, here we've got the Marshall Islands, um, if it's available in those colonies. Uh, we're, we are going to be adding to this left-hand column quite a bit. Uh, we're gonna be adding underwriting data, build charts, um, I'll, I'll go through some of the some of the items that we're going to be adding here in a minute. Um, once I do my recap, I don't remember them all off the top of my head, but um, a whole bunch of items. So this is where it can really expand. Uh, one of the things we're working on is getting uh, carrier feeds for uh, for just information, so they can kind of update update you through this system. Uh, that's a really cool feature. But we can basically the the possibilities are are endless here. The things that we can add um, as we get them from the carriers. Um, so that is essentially uh, the uh, our our quote engine. Let me show you what that looks like in a website. Um, so here we have um, we have this sample website that we use for just you know previewing our products and stuff, uh, and and give you an idea of what our capabilities are. But if we go here and we click on agency life quarter. You can see here it is embedded right onto a website. Um, and so you've got, just like before, you've got your navigation up at the top and you know your footer down at the bottom. Oh, this one, this website doesn't have a footer, uh, but it's embedded right onto the page of a website. So it feels like the agent is in there. It can also be embedded into a login area in the back end of your website, something like that as well. Um, so very excited about that. Uh, we're very excited to be launching this. And oh, and if you want to recalculate, you just click up here, and it goes back to the, you know, hey, I want to add a, you know, 35-year level term as well. Um, so very, very excited. We're very excited to launch this. It's going to be. We really feel like this is going to change the industry, um, and uh, it's, you know, it's still affordable. It's still much cheaper than our competitors. Uh, so going back to our presentation here. Um, so let's recap some of the, so I want to recap some of the new features that we've added uh, and that are coming out with it. Um, so first of all, there's the fresh new design and, and flow. Uh, that's a big, big thing that we're very excited about. You can customize the design and colors. That was something you could kind of do before, not, not a whole lot. Uh, there was just some very uh, minor ones, uh, minor customizations you can do. We're also going to come out with some, some different flows, but uh, you know, these color, these bars with colors and, um, you can kind of customize that so it fits the look and feel of your website um, versus um, versus just having it be standard. Uh, it's going to be mobile optimized. Uh, there are, from what I understand, there aren't very many quarters out there that are actually mobile optimized. Um, ours is ours is going to be one of the few, um, and uh, so it'll be really nice on all devices. Uh, we added the age option versus date of birth. Uh, we've got table ratings. Writers, waivers, child writers included in our quote engine now as well. Um, you can, this is 
a pretty cool feature. It makes it really nice for agents working with it. You can compare simplified issue and fully underwritten products. You can do multi-product comparisons. So compare simplified issue versus a table rated case if you want to do that or, or just show, hey, this is simplified issue. This is where you actually get poked with it or fully underwritten where you actually will get poked with a needle. Simplified issue um, is this much more, but you don't have to do that. Um, we'll have, we're going to be adding underwriting data. Uh, that wasn't there. It wasn't something I showed you yet, but it's, uh, it's coming on the way. So you'll actually, in those tabs under a carrier, you'll be able to see all the underwriting data and build charts. <clears throat> uh, carrier marketing material, I just showed you kind of where that is. Um, we're still working on putting all that in there. Uh, but the carrier marketing material, uh, they'll be able to you know, grab that from there. Uh, direct, and that's all directly from the carrier website. So. Um, uh, that'll be pretty sweet. Um, AM best information. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't I didn't really mention that on the uh, in the presentation, but the uh, we used to charge extra for AM best ratings, and with the agency life quarter, it's uh, it's there's no extra charge for that. It was like nine bucks a month extra or something like that. It wasn't very expensive, but with the new quote engine, it's uh, it's no extra cost. Um, and uh, oh, and in those left hand tabs uh, that that you saw there. Uh, in the quote results, so uh, under a carrier here, uh, there will show the AM best information here as well. So the uh, you know the 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 profit losses. I, I don't remember everything that shows in there, but you know their the rating information, what the rating means, and you know all that that the information about that carrier that that pertains to the, to the rating. Um, So next here, this is a big piece that, that's coming. Uh, I haven't talked about this yet. Uh, this is what we're calling Data Accuracy Diagnostics, or DAD. Um, this is going to be a basically, um, we, we, we get a lot of questions about our rates and our forms and if they're up to date. And uh, most companies, most tech companies, don't show anything as far as what, you know, being able to see, okay, are they updating their rates? Are they updating their data? And uh, this will be a view that all of our clients who are on our platform will have. You'll be able to log in, and here you can see the last time. Uh, the, here's our most recent updates. You know, if you want to see a specific carrier, you know, Transamerica. Here's the last time they were updated. Um, and so, you know, let's say I think last month Transamerica updated their trendsetter rates. I want to say um, I can't remember exactly, but you know, if you're you're getting ready to quote that to a client and you want to make sure that that is up to date and that hasn't been, you know, that's not out of date and you knew that was coming. You can go in here and see when it was updated and rest assured that, hey, that's been updated or these forms are the latest forms or uh, we, we're trying to create as much visibility and transparency around this as possible. So you don't have to wonder. And so you always know what's been updated, where, where things are at with the rates. And that kind of thing. So this is a really cool view. I'm really excited about this because this is something that really nobody else does. Um, and so you'll be able to really see where we're at with our data. Uh, we've got the availability map, uh, the carrier forms preview. That's new. Uh, we're very excited about those things. Uh, sorting quote results, sending quotes as text, um, the PDF download design options. Here's just kind of myriad of some of the designs we've been working on. Um, for that, you saw the middle one here. Uh, uh, vendor and carrier e-ticket integration. Uh, I talked a little bit about that. Uh, that that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, there's nobody out there that I know of that has a quote engine where they do multi-vendor integration. So whereas we have our own system, but we're not. We're kind of agnostic when it comes to e-ticket integration. We we built our own, but you don't have to go through ours. You can go through whoever you want. You can go through, I think Applicant has one that's pretty popular right now, uh, Quick Life Center. Uh, you can go directly to the carrier if they have it. Um, the only one that, uh, we really can work with anybody if they're willing to work with us. Uh, so the only one that I know of that uh, we don't work with is iPipeline because they just, they're not willing to work with other companies who they see as competitors. Um, <clears throat> and I didn't show you this. There's a custom link option. This is your integration with uh, with like a like a Salesforce CRM or any kind of CRM. Um, so when you get to the end of the court results here, uh, on this Voya one, you see how there's a custom link here. 
And so in the back end, you'll be able to go in, you can upload a custom icon, uh, you can uh, you can customize what it says here where it says custom link and then customize where that information gets sent and so it'll actually take all the information here that was in the court results all the information that was filled out it'll package it up into a nice little uh, nice little uh, file and send that off wherever that link goes so for example we have a client um, who works with form stacks and he wanted to be able to automatically fill those forms with the information from our quote engine and so, uh, so he can go in and do that. Um, we can, it can go into like a, um, a CRM. We use Agile CRM in-house here, and we know it can integrate really nicely with that. Um, so that'll be, a, that's a really cool feature, a new feature that's, that's coming out here. And so you can really kind of decide where that goes um, and, and where that is sent. Next section here is the custom CDN, uh, Quote Engine Hosting. Uh, a CDN is a content delivery network. If, if you're familiar with that, then it probably goes without saying, but what a content delivery network is, it, it basically means that there's servers all throughout the, um, well, for us, it's throughout the United States, I believe it might even be throughout the world. Um, but, uh, and so what'll happen is when someone's on the, on the system running a quote, to guarantee that it's the fastest possible experience, it'll, that information or that, that, uh, um, that data will be stored in a uh, on a server that's closest to them, and so what'll happen is it'll hit that server rather than you know someone in Florida hitting a server in California and waiting for that uh, feedback to come back. It it guarantees that our system is very very snappy. Everything works very fast. There's very little load time. It makes it really nice and and really easy to move forward. Um, and uh, and really easy for the agents to use, and they they love the experience. If, ideally, <laughs> this is a new 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 product, obviously. So uh, we think it will. So that those are the new features. Um, we're very very excited about this. Really excited to launch it. Um, so a lot of you are probably wondering when is this available. Uh, it will be available next week. Uh, so um, there. Uh, so let's talk a little bit. Oh, last thing before that. Uh, we have the new embed code versus the old embed code. Uh, so this is how you plug it into your website. Uh, so any of any of you who are current clients have probably dealt with an iframe that looks like this. And it's really kind of, uh, what it does is it's basically taking a picture of somewhere else on the web and plugging it into your website. And uh, and that that's kind of the old way of doing it. And the new one is this script code. And what that does is instead of it, uh, actually grabbing it from somewhere else. It's, it's just embedding it onto your website. So it feels like uh, it's part of your website. So you don't, it, it, it really creates a much more integrated experience and, uh, and plugs it in. And like I was showing you those modal modals and things like that, that pop down and it makes it way nicer and work really smoothly and, and nicely. Um, so, so we're pretty excited about that. It, you know, for most of you, you're probably like, okay, great. But this does make it work a lot better for you. Um, so very simple slide. Um, I wanted to go over pricing. Uh, we're, we're running a little short on time. I think I got about seven minutes left. Uh, but as far as pricing goes, uh, it, our prices have gone up a little bit uh, or, or significantly. And that's because uh, with more data, with more, more clients on board, uh, uh, with, you know, there's more, well, not more clients on board, with more data, more carriers on board, that's what I meant to say, uh, there's more data to manage. And uh, and so we've had to hire more staff to facilitate that. And uh, and so these are the prices for the agency life quota and forms um, moving forward. And uh, we're still significantly cheaper than, than the competition, um, but, uh, but, you know, so it's basically two two forty eight for for both, or I think it comes out to two forty nine. But um, on our website, um, but so it's about three hundred bucks a month for the quotes and forms engine, no setup fee or anything like that, uh, and it's very easy to integrate. Um, so uh, that's really my presentation. That's what I got for you guys. Um, I have uh, I'm going to share a link in the. Um, this link here in the uh, there's a uh, for for sign up. I'm going to share that in the chat box here. Oh, come on. Uh, so anyone who's interested in the new agency life quarter and forms engine, uh, I recommend that you go to this page 
and sign up. Uh, what all you're doing here, you're not providing a, a credit card or anything like that, but uh, if you're a current customer and you currently have both products, uh, fill out the left form here. And then our fulfillment team will get in touch with you next week when it's ready to, to basically upgrade you and help you uh, integrate that into your website. If you're a new customer, if you haven't had this before, uh, you fill out the right form, and that'll go to our uh, our sales team, and they will they will get in touch with you to to answer any other questions you might have, and um, <clears throat> and really kind of walk through it uh, with you and get you started. Um, so please fill those out. Uh, we're, we're happy to to you know get all our current customers upgraded. Uh, if you are a current customer, you are locked in at the price that you're at, uh, no matter what the price was. Um, so rest assured that you know those of you who have you know been supporters of us early on um, and got on the platform early on, you uh, we we like to make sure we reward you for for that. And so you you you'll you're not going up in price there. Um, so uh, yeah, that concludes my presentation. Uh, let me make sure I don't have anything else I'm missing here. Uh, yep, that, that's everything. Uh, thanks everybody for joining. I'm gonna answer a few questions here. Uh, there's one question that already came in earlier on. Uh, feel free to chat in any other questions you guys might have on that chat box and um, we'll go another four minutes and then and I'll answer some of those questions. So let's see, the question here was when email does it email all of the quotes or the one I choose? Um, oh, that was the answer. Uh, so someone on our staff answered that question. Uh, you'll have an option to choose which quotes in those quote results. Um, so you so that you see these check boxes. Uh, you can select the ones you want, and um, and then the PDF will just show the carriers that that you selected, um, or you can just click select all or send all, um, and it'll send all of them. Um, so that uh, then answers that question. Are there any other questions? Doesn't look like any are coming in unless you guys are typing. Um, let's go back to make sure I didn't miss anything on my agenda. Um, yeah, so I mean, really make sure you guys go here and sign up. Even if you, you know, this, we're not asking you guys to put in a credit card or anything like that. We just love to talk to you and, and give you an idea of what we're going, what's going on. We'll send you an email with a link to this as well. Um, but, uh, but yeah, thanks everybody for joining. Uh, there's, doesn't look like there's any more questions coming in. So I think uh, we'll, uh, we'll end it here. And uh, we're very excited about this new, you know, the new things that are going on and please check out our products, check out our new website. Uh, and we'd love to hear feedback uh, as you guys start playing with it, as you guys get get it integrated into your site. We're uh, we are definitely innovating. We are trying to improve it um, every day, and we're right in the midst of doing that right now. So any feedback we can get, feel free to provide that to us. Uh, we have on our website. If you just go to um, contact, um, you have um, all our contact information here, <clears throat> and. Uh, uh, if you're in the area, feel free to come visit us in Utah here. Um, but uh, you know, feel free to schedule an appointment or, or shoot us an email with feedback at sales at ixn.tech, and we're happy to answer those. I uh, hope you guys have a good Thursday and a good weekend, and uh, look forward to talking to everybody. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>